Hello and welcome to lesson number two in our warm-up exercise series. So the previous one we were looking at fretting hand, hammer-ons and pull-offs. In this particular one we're looking at some alternate, alternate picking. Uh, so like down and up stroke picking. So uh, like we were saying this is all to do with flat pick playing or plectrum playing plus fretted notes. Um, might do some exercises for, for slide at a later date but I'm also in open E tuning for this one, so that is E, B, E, but like we were saying, it's, uh, it's a power chord, so you can, as long as you're in relatively the same tuning, th these exercises were absolutely fine, so any standard G, D, G, perfect, uh, also lower D, A, D, Anything else that, that you want to go for, as long as it, it's the same power chord tuning, it would work fine. And uh, there's a PDF download available, uh, which accompanies like all four lessons worth of exercises. So you can you can get that off the site. You can download that if you're interested. Just click through the link. Much appreciated. Help support the channel. And we shall get straight on with exercise number one. Okay, so this is exercise number one. So uh, like we were saying just for flat picking just get a bit of focus on that so just for flat pick playing and uh, there's a good beginner level exercise if you don't you don't feel that experienced uh, so sunshine you love and um, it's just for flat picking and fretted playing exactly the same as this so you can check that out on the channel if uh, you think that might be useful for you but what we're doing here is we're looking at alternate picking so we're playing, we're still sort of largely riff playing for, for, for most of this. So it's the same as what we were doing in lesson number one, exercise one, where it's more of a vertical movement. You want to kind of rest on your bridge or even on this part of the guitar. Don't, don't twist like that from your wrist. Okay. And to get your alternate picking, you just want to don't don't scrape get your, your pick sort of fairly flat so you're getting a nice crisp attack through and just try and make the upstrokes feel very similar to the downstrokes make sure you're holding the pick like that with your thumb and your index finger I'll show you that from this angle so So what we're doing is we're using some basic power chord shapes. So this is um, whatever tuning we're in. Uh, this this is our root power chord. So it's, it's it goes the same. It's basically the same chord as the open strings. But we're going for fret five on the middle string and fret seven on the high string. However, I might use fingers one and four because when I drop down to two frets lower which is three and five that's all fine i could do that with that finger but i'm actually going to drop down lower again to fret two but keep this one on fret five so it's easier if you keep your little finger where it is like that okay so possibly do that so even though this, these chords, we're, we're going to treat it like riff playing, okay? And we're literally two, so we've got three strings, so uh, we're going to play each of the three notes in this chord shape, including the open string, twice. So it's down, up, string one, down, up, middle, twice, string one twice that's the pattern so it's string three one two three down up down up down up down up just try and keep that chord in one place let's do the same thing over that Chord two frets lower, frets three and five. Mm -hmm. 
so we're, we're still using the, the normal open string. Got a nice kind of over ringing sound there with, with this diff different chord. Um, in standard tuning, that would be B and F. And then drop this down, and that was kind of, in standard tuning, that's a kind of C uh, with, a, with a G in the bass. It's the same picking pattern all the way through. Back to the normal power chord and just repeat it back to the first one on frets 5 and 7. Find a hand position where you can comfortably cover all of those. Should we just try that from a different angle. So, three, four. Change. So like we were saying in the previous video, just watch the action of your strings because I'm going slowly here and I can feel I'm holding these down for quite a long time. So if your action's high for slide, you might find fretting some of these quite quite sort of punishing. So you, you might you can potentially swap your, your nut out for something a little bit lower if you need to. Yeah, we can gradually speed it up. to it but as with uh, the previous hammer on and pull off um, lesson sort of set of exercises we were saying start slowly so maybe somewhere around like 50 50 bpm uh, use a drum beat or use a metronome really good to do that and then you can speed up after that uh, gradually you know maybe like sort of 10 10 bpm at a time at the most but that's exercise number one. And exercise number two, this is actually more of a, a sort of chord picking exercise. There's a couple of little um, double string strums, but we can still, it's almost got a bit of a country, country sort of flat picking um, strum, strumming style where uh, we're, we're picking out the bass note. We're not just strumming all of the strings constantly. So what we're doing here for the first chord is we are going for fret 9 and fret 7. So this just requires a little bit of a bridge just so finger 3 is not catching the open string. There we go, I can hear the open string. And then when I put this one back on, okay, so you just got to make sure you get that right first. But then the bass note, so I'm going to go bass, strum, I'm, I'm still, I think I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm still using a similar hand position, it's a little bit less loose than a normal strumming rhythm which we'll look at in a following video. Um, this, this is more similar to what we just did there, so it's bass with a down, down, up on the middle strings, bass, up, down, up. So that's bass, down, up, bass, up, down, up. That follows two frets lower. So the same shape, so instead of nine and seven, which is, if we're in standard tuning, that's a G. Uh, if, if we're in standard tuning, drop it down two frets, that's a F over G. Or this tuning, E and then D, with an E in the bass. So, bass, 
down, up, bass, up, down, up. This is now going to be identical for every single chord shape. Dropping down to five and four. Dropping down to two and three, three and two. Right from this angle. So we've got down, up, bass, up, down, up, bass, down, up, bass, up, down, up, bass, down, up, bass, up, down, up, bass, down, up, bass, up, down, up. So for all of those, because we're playing pairs of notes, you gotta make sure you're bridging so we can hear it, hear all both strings. Okay, so again, don't rush it to start with, that was just showing you what it sounds like a bit faster. Build up the speed with all of these, and ideally, because they're warm-ups, do them with a click, do them with a drum beat. Last one, we're going to be using a the minor pentatonic scale. We use that for exercise number one of the hammer-ons, but this time we're just going to play the fretted notes. So we've got open, I'll just say the frets because again we've got possible different tunings, so open, fret three, fret 5, open, fret 3, fret 5. Now that fret 5, yeah, with our power chord tuning, that's the same note as open string 1. So I'm not going to play open string 1 because I don't want to play that note twice. I'm going to go straight to fret 3 and fret 5. So I've got open, low, lowest string, string 3. Fret 3, fret 5, open middle string, fret 3, fret 5, but then straight to fret 3 and fret 5. Don't play the open top string, because we're just repeating ourselves if we do. Play each note twice. Alternate picking, same movement as before, vertical, move your wrist, don't twist from your elbow. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up, get the idea. Down, up, down, up. Reverse it. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Open this time. Down, up, up, down, up. Let's have a little go at that from this angle. So we've got down, up, fret 3, down, up, fret 5, down, up, open middle string, fret 3, fret 5, straight to fret 3, play that again, and reverse it, straight to fret 5, open string this time, Again, just a demo of what it sounds like faster, don't try and go there straight away, uh, unless you feel like you're really flying. We can also, I'll come back around to this angle, we can also do that with blue scale, which would be just adding uh, one extra note, but across two different octaves, so it's going to be fret six here, so it's open three, five, six, open three, five, three, and then I might go five, six, seven. Go a little bit higher this time. There's the new note, fret six. Open three, five, three, five, six, seven. I might shift up with finger one, finish with one, two, three up there. So do that each note twice, alternate picking. Fret six, fret five, fret six, 
fret 3, fret 6, open, fret 3, fret 5, straight to fret 3, fret 5, fret 6, fret 7, and then reverse it, 7, 6, 5, down to 3, different string, fret 5, fairly flat when you're playing single note riffs, keeps your hand more relaxed. So straight to fret 3, 5, 6, 7 and come back down. Okay, that is it. I hope those exercises are useful for your picking and um, like I said, you can have a look at the, the previous um, fretting hand hammer on and pull off exercise, which quite quite good accompaniment for like both of them together. Uh, the following two, like we're saying, are looking at uh, chord playing, um, so strumming, and also like picking single notes from chords as well. So they will be coming your way very soon on the channel. So we shall see you here again soon on Coda Guitar. <laughs>